The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus both have the exact same main camera. They have a 12 megapixel sensor paired with an f1.8 lens with optical image stabilization. In fact, they're the highest rated cameras on DxO Mark. But how do they differ? Well, for starters, the iPhone 8 Plus has two cameras around the back, that main one that we spoke about and a secondary one that's 12 megapixels with an f2.8 lens and no optical image stabilization. This does, however, have a two time zoom, enabling some cool portrait effects. So is the iPhone 10 camera different? A little bit. Just like the iPhone 8 Plus, it has two cameras around the back, but the secondary camera has an f2.4 lens, so lets in a bit more light, and it has optical image stabilization, which will make it better for low light photography and video. The iPhone X front camera is also a little bit fancier, but we'll stick to the main cameras for this video. The shooting modes on all three iPhones are nice and simple. Photo mode, the main mode that it defaults into, lets you point, shoot, and take a picture. Swipe left once to get to video, twice to get to slow-mo, and three times to get to time-lapse. If you swipe right from photo, you get to square photo and panorama. Now back to that portrait mode that we were talking about. This can do a couple of things. For starters, it blurs out the background, keeping your foreground nice and sharp. This doesn't have to be a person despite being called portrait mode. On the new iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone X, it can also do something else, and that's called portrait lighting. Portrait lighting enables a range of really cool lighting options on the foreground object. You can customize it so that it's a little bit brighter on the face, a little bit darker, higher in contrast for a bit more drama, or completely cut out. You get some hits and you get some misses depending on what you're shooting, but generally speaking, portrait effect and portrait lighting are very, very nice to have on both of the higher end phones. So that's been an overview of the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone 10 camera. Make sure you check out the full reviews on techradar.com and stay tuned. We'll be posting some more camera deep dives in the near future. Thanks for watching.